hello everyone hope you are all right in today's video i am going to show you how i dig and store my dahlia tubers and gladiolus combs so here in these four containers i have dahlia plants which i started from seed so starting dahlia tubers from seed is a very fun and economical way to have dahlia plants and you can see these are done now we have had a hard freeze and basically after hard freeze uh, dahlia foliage becomes darkened blackened and that's the point when you want to dig up your dahlia tubers and here in this container i have gladiolus combs uh, which bloomed really well for me and when they were done foliage died i cut them back and now i want to dig them up as well i have also got two dahlia plants in these smaller containers and basically i don't want to dig all of them up and technically i can leave them in the ground uh, if they were in the ground because i'm in zone 8 if you are in a zone lower than 8 you do want to dig up and store your dahlia tubers and gladiolus combs especially if they are in container so here is a gladiolus comb which i have dug out and you can see it has grown really well the one i planted is squished and it has grown a new one for next year and there are loads of small ones attached to the bigger one which can be used for propagating so when planted they will grow and after a few years they will be uh, big enough to flower so i'm going to dig all of them up and it's really simple and easy i have 10 of them in here in this container the soil is nice and loose so this one i just pulled out you can try just pulling them out when you cut the foliage or stem back cut it a few inches above the ground then you will have room to grab the stem and pull it out if it can't be pulled out you can use a shovel to loosen the soil around the bulb technically a comb and i'm going to dig them off and store in this box this is just a random box so i keep uh, my boxes and i don't throw them away so i can store my bulbs and combs and tubers in them so you need a cardboard box or you can use a recycled brown bag anything that works for you in a cool and darkened space like a core shed where it doesn't get hard freeze if they freeze they will be dead so if the temperature dips below freezing it's better to take them inside you can store them in an attic where it stays between 40 and 50 degrees centigrade that's the ideal temperature for them or you can also store them in refrigerator where it's not very moist so i'm going to dig them all up and all of them are looking really nice some of them have attached lots of small combs to them and some are coming just in one piece but i'm glad that they are grown really well and i can expect another bloom from them next year so i had two varieties in here 10 of them so some of them were dark purple which were really eye-catching and some of them were like orange peachy orange and they were really vibrant as well i really liked them i really enjoyed them i used them in cut flower arrangements so i want to plant them next year in my garden bed so they can stay there and they can multiply so they are more protected in the ground than in a container and basically you can put the whole container in a shed or in an attic but this is a really big container so it's easier to dig them out and store them in a brown bag or cardboard box and basically that's all you need to do to save your gladiolus combs
so the same procedure is used for digging off and storing your dahlia tubers so i'm going to remove some of the dahlia tubers and save them which i really liked so because i grew them from seeds when you grow something from seed they are not true to parents so you can expect really different results and some of them i really enjoyed so i want to save them and plant them next year in my garden and most of them were quite ordinary or like all of them were yellow so i don't want to keep them i will discard them so here in this container i had three and all of them were really unique and beautiful so i want to keep all of them so here i have tipped the container and i just going to remove the soil from the tubers and then i will save my tubers in a cardboard box so people often have this question whether dahlia plants grow tubers when you grow them from seed and that's the revealing point yes they do grow tubers and then you can save the tubers which you liked and the ones you don't like you can discard them and it's much easier to grow them from seed and very economical as well and you don't have to store them if you don't want to you can just start them from seed every year and treat them as annuals and here you can see i have broken a tuber when i was removing the soil and it has still neck intact so there are three parts of a tuber you want to keep the tuber itself neck and and a growing point which is called eye so eyes are like small bulges on the top of the neck from where the new shoots will grow next year and this tuber is quite intact it has neck it has an eye and there is another part broken it still has neck intact and i can see an eye so basically i left them in this container for quite long after the foliage darkened like for a couple of weeks and this gives them time to develop eyes which are clearly visible so this way you can propagate them you can divide the main tuber in uh, three or four parts which have necks intact and eyes to them so you will have more plants next year i accidentally broke one or two and i will keep them but if the neck is broken and the tuber itself is rotted or cut open it's better to discard it because it will be useless so here you can see this is the main clump and it has grown quite well and i just want to remove the soil gently from the tubers and some people do wash them and let them dry in a cool dark place and then store them i will just leave the soil around them uh, i will remove as much as i can but if there is a little bit attached especially around the stem i will leave it and i will put it in a cardboard box some people like to store them in moistened vermiculite that's why they don't shrivel out and an ideal place for storing them is a shed or an attic where it does not go below freezing so the temperature stays be between 40 to 50 degree fahrenheit and basically you can also store them in a refrigerator so you can wash them make nice and clean put them in a brown bag and keep them in a refrigerator in a vegetable box maybe where there are no other vegetables so here my tubers are looking good and if some of them are not attached well to the main stem i will rather take them out and discard them so this is really nice and easy process and basically as i said you can put the whole container in a shed or in an attic and these containers are not that big i can put one container in my greenhouse to see whether it survives the winter or not so one of the containers i will put in my greenhouse just for an experiment and the ones that i really want to save i will dig them and put them in a cardboard box so here is another one which i want to save it grew quite late for me but i really like the flower and it's not grown quite well so let's see what happens so the first step is to cut the stems and foliage that is above the ground and you can leave a little bit of stem so it will help you to pull the tuber out and here you can see this tuber is quite small but it is still intact so there is a neck and there is an eye and a little bit of tuber so 
as i said it grew quite late for me because when i planted the seedling in this container in june it got nipped and uh, then it took some time to recover so here i can see the neck and an eye and tuber is not big but i can hope that it will grow bigger next year so i will save it and i want to dig the other tubers in this container as well and save them so i'm going to save five to six and i'm going to put one container in my greenhouse and i will discard the tubers in other containers which will be like six seven tubers which were all yellow and basically i will just uh, dig them out and put them in my brown bin It is also important to label them properly so you know which tubers are what so here i have got a plastic plant label which has a hole in it and i have threaded it with jute rope and i wrote the name of the flower on the label so it was like pink flower double pink flower so i just named it that way so if you had bought the tubers and you know the variety you can put the name of the variety on the tag and basically that's all so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and it gave you some information on how to store your gladiolus combs and dahlia tubers and what to expect when you grow dahlias from seed and basically the tips and tricks to save your combs and bobs Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos. Thank you very much for watching today. See you next time. Bye.